Ime Doka called Kyrie the best one-on-one -on -one player he's ever seen, coached, or been around. So, mm. you guys played against some of the greatest players in NBA history. Do you agree with Udoka saying Kyrie is the best one-on-one -on -one player ever? He's one of them. I can't say he's the best. He's <laughs> one of them, but I'm not going to say he's the best. Michael Jordan played in this league. Guys like Kevin Garnett, who's a one-on-one -on -one king in this league. Like, Melo, Kevin Durant. Like, he's one of them, though. He's one he's, of them. He's in that conversation. To say he's the, was like, Kobe played in this league. Like, like he's one of them, though. Tracy McGrady. Tracy McGrady played Tracy. in this league. Like, <laughs> those, the dudes I just named are all one on one masters. Like, so, but Kyrie, one of them, though. Can you, you think? Yeah, I agree with Norris. Yeah. yeah. He, yeah. He, one of he's on the He's on the list. He's on the list, but, no. but the. So, who was the best one on one player that, that you played against during your career? Played against? Should I play against? Or with? Everybody he just fucking named. Yeah. I played with or against? Mike Jordan, Kobe, Kevin Garnett. Tracy McGrady, Allen Iverson. I played <laughs> against or with. Uh, yeah, so. so pick your poison, baby. Team with Melo for a lot of years, so I would. Gilbert Arenas, dog. Gil, Gil. Did so, your show Gil you paid the bill? Real. So I'm only person party. actually. Nah, play, I, only person out there actually playing one 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 full flat. <laughs> <laughs> one full flat. <laughs> nah, but no, same. I mean, I played in the same era, so. You know, mellow on the one-on-one -on -one island. But back then, you got put on the island, like, yo, and they're going to run the same play the whole time. So they sub him, you out. Yep. Him, switch the matchup. Cole. So what's it like being on that side of it? When well, you I've got been a guard on that island. I've been on the island with Kyrie and, and with Steph and all the one-on-one, -on -one, no help. And it's, I mean, it depends how the game going. If they got it going, it's, you feel helpless. <laughs> like, because you know no matter how good the defense you play, they're going to make the shot. But there's some guys that... You have a chance with, and then there's other guys you have no chance with. The taller players you have no chance, yeah. like the McGrady's, mm -hmm. like Jordan, like Kevin Garnett, like those dudes. Because even if you play good defense, gonna they're gonna shoot over you. you. Mm -hmm. Kyrie get you off balance. He can shoot over most people, but at least you have a little bit of a chance to like contest. Taller players you have no, they don't see the contest. Like Kevin Durant don't see you. It's just a matter if he's gonna make it or miss it. Melo don't really see you. Kobe don't see you. <laughs> Kobe do not see you. Hey, I remember I switched out on Melo once, dog. And uh he hit me with an elbow. <laughs> I said, ouch, bitch, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I'm done. I'm not switching on this dude no more, dog. Nah. And that's, <laughs> that's <laughs> like your for his first reaction. Boom. Oh, we gonna get you. Ow! Yeah. Shit, bitch, Absolutely. Absolutely. Not, uh, I played Kyrie and got a strip. Big, big, game point physical. one-on-one. You get physical. You ripped him? For no reason, reason dog. Yes. How'd you feel after that moment? I mean, I, feel, I was a defender, so yeah. I was taking on the challenge. But, yeah. man, one-on-one, -on -one, he tried. Five, four, three, two, one. I stripped him. Game point, I was like, okay. But as a defender, like I said, I knew he wasn't going to just shoot over me. So I had confidence that so if, I could, it, yeah. if I could contest. But, like, Taller players like man, Kobe, like I said, man, Kobe don't see nothing. Melo don't see nobody. Nobody. Kevin Durant don't don't see you out there. I says if there was a if there was a one on one contest, like depending on dribbles, depending on spots. Mike Jordan don't see nobody. Anything from the free throw line, mid post, I'm giving that to Melo. Him and Kevin. Him and Kevin gonna, Garnett. No, him and Kevin Durant. Durant. But Melo gonna beat you like he gonna physically yeah, just. Yeah, he gonna he gonna, <laughs> he gonna rough you up like it's just, <laughs> before the catch. Before the yeah. catch, he gonna bop bop. He didn't bop. get you <laughs> sometimes getting to his spot, right? <laughs> when he catch it, he gonna. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You better get ready. <laughs> yeah. That's what I said. By the time he get ready to shoot, he get like, ready. shoot the ball, dog. <laughs> like I don't, I don't even want to get hit no more. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he beating you up while he on offense. Yeah. He, oh, a bully, that, he a bully for sure. Oh, no, that free throw line shit is the, listen, dog. Yeah, that's him li lined up on the free throw line. Somebody that's we shooting. Uh huh. Oh, get ready, dog. <laughs> oh, he destroying people. Yeah. Oh, that shit is amazing. I'd be like, dude, you get lane violation there that he don't give a fuck. <laughs> Chauncey on the line, nigga. Why you going? How you going? He shoot ninety. Yeah. Why you Why you get lane violation? The Chauncey on the line. Earl Boyd is online. Why are you going, yeah. nigga? <laughs> you ain't missing. You right. just want to hit a nigga just for no just reason. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, no, but he, yeah. So when we played him like his rookie, you're like, did nobody guard him? So when I was with the Nets, still his rookie, I had to guard him. Mm -hmm. 
Like, because he's... Roughhousing. Yeah, no, he got, I know what I'm watching. Yeah. Like, this young boy is shit. Yeah, he, he hey, so physical I'm, with you. I'm getting into him first. Like, all right, now you want to know. I'm going to hit you before you hit me because I see what you doing. <laughs> yeah. All right? Nuh-uh. Nah, that bitch, yeah. He, he hell. That ball, listen, man. So I'm going with, yeah, that... He's one KD of and Melo. Okay. KD Mello. I think KD and Melo. But you put Kyrie, you mentioned him amongst those tier of... of yeah, but like Norris said, like, that height difference is makes... A lot. Yeah, Melo, KD, Cole, Mac. For sure. Yeah. No, and Tracy was hell. Like, that's what people don't understand. Tracy McGrady was hell at that height. Oh, uh, no, no, for, yeah. Like, I can understand. We, we had a home and home back then. <laughs> but the way people scoring the ball now is not... But had a home and home with Orlando. Motherfuckers scored like 75 in two games. So that was... About yeah, that's like that's what like yes. seventy five. That's like eighty five, right. ninety. Yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so y'all know, that's like ninety today. Oh, <laughs> inflation. Oh, inflation. Oh, one today. Basketball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I hated that joint. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He, uh, I'm trying to sit on it, mm-hmm. knocking that shit down. Yeah. Well, that was a great basketball discussion. You guys know where else we can see a great basketball discussion? This Sunday at the <laughs> El Rey Theater in Hollywood for the first ever Gills Arena Live presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoop, whoop. whoop, whoop. You see the poster. We got tickets on sale now. I need, get some, them fri- get I need some friends. I need some friends to show up on oh. my behalf. You can DM oh. Gil for the exclusive link to purchase tickets. No, you don't. <laughs> Guest list has closed. There will be ample security. Damn, yo, we have a, a separate private interest for anybody trying to tag along. You will not be admitted without a ticket. But we are giving away 100 posters to the first 100 people that pull up to the show. If you have an Underdog Fantasy account and you buy a ticket and show proof of purchase at the venue, you get a $25 bonus to your Underdog Fantasy account. We're doing a Mostly Fans Live, so if you are there, you want to answer the question. The floor is yours to do everything you need to do this Sunday, 6 p.m. at the El Rey Theater in Hollywood. If you're in the Los Angeles area or anywhere nearby, the IE, Palmdale, wherever you may be, Santa Clarita, come pull up, hang out with us. Huh? You can fly in. <coughs> jet suite if you're a baller. They were climbing the jet uh, y'all took. They said the jet was small. <laughs> no, it, it was. It looked oh, tiny. It was. It was. That motherfucker was petite. But I can't do it. <laughs> it was free, so I ain't got no complaint. <laughs> But yeah, that motherfucker was small. Ever since I seen Labamba, I can't roll with the, the small planes. Yeah, like, hey, yeah. Give me Southwest. Yeah, man, get the 15 series. Give me Southwest. Hey, listen. We also have. Trust me, I would have. I, I looked at it like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we got resellers <laughs> out there. Over it was tight on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> over here, it was like, man, it's small here. Yeah, I was like, yeah, nah, yeah. nigga, you big in here. You big in here. <laughs> <laughs> Coming down the lane. What? Like, wait, hold on, dog. You got to come down that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you walk down that bitch. <laughs> Yeah. Sure. We, <laughs> tickets are going fast. We also have resellers scooping up tickets. Will you be the one to be enough of a big baller to buy these two thousand dollar tickets? Uh-huh. Row DC seventeen. <laughs> what is that? Eighteen. Oh, that nigga swole that. That nigga just get up and just knock out a hundred straight push-ups, bro. Well, we know we know what seat it is. So if we see you in there, we know you're a big baller. He just just when he came out of the room the other day, we got his coffee, nigga, and just knocked out a hundred straight push-ups. Yes, like prison style. Hunter straight. No break? No break. 